Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five hanging options in PowerPoint. This is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the option one, two and three. At the bottom, it will show you four and five. You can see it is hanging by the clips and I've added some icons, some text and different colors to it. Likewise, I have added one more slide where I have added the GIF files or you can add any small short clips here to show all the clips at one slide in one slide and here without any text I have just added this one. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint Add a new slide right mouse click go to format background and change the color to a gray color light gray color go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and make the height as 3.8 or 9 and this as 5.7 make it no outline and make it as a white color go to insert shapes under basic shapes select trapezoid this is to show the clips give some dark colors or black make it no outline zoom in so that you can do a better designing go to format rotate say flip vertical add one more press ctrl d and give some no fill and just make it a right mouse click and edit points just edit the way I'm doing so at this point and edit this also and I'm just going to make a curved at the top reduce the size and bring it on the top press ctrl D to add one more and place it something like this so it looks like a clip you can see the office clip something like this only select all these three objects first select the two objects align it properly and go to shapes select the line draw the line straight till the top of the slide and give the same color now select all these three options including the line press ctrl G to duplicate it or sorry to group it press ctrl D to duplicate and bring to the other side go to insert shapes select one more rectangle which I am going to draw in the center make it no outline and you can use some gradient fill here so I am going to keep only two stops you can use any good color combination I am going to use some orange, light orange and dark orange. Then select all these objects 
before that just uh, give some a uh, shadow effect you can increase the blur size now select all these objects and group it once again press ctrl g also you can do it and reduce the size and make it the one side and press ctrl d make one more so i'm going to make it three on the top and two at the bottom make sure that you have the right spacing between this one for that you can just say distribute horizontally and press ctrl d add at the bottom and add one more if you want you can add three also but two will be enough and then make sure that line is touching at the top of the slide hold the shift key while dragging the line and select these both objects and say send to back maybe i'll just reduce the size of these lines Now you can see the design is almost ready. Now you can come and change the color of the each rectangle, give some different colors. Now I have changed the colors of all the rectangles. Then you can add the icons which I have downloaded from the nonproject.com or if you have any other source you can just copy the icons of your choice and place it on each of the colored rectangles. Then as a separator, I'm just going to insert a line here. Hold the shift key while dragging the line so that it will come the straight line. Otherwise, the line may go uh, up or down. So this is a perfect straight line. Make it white color and then you can add your uh, text here. center a line and this also make it somewhat uh, white will be okay I believe and then select the line and the text press ctrl D to duplicate it and just copy and paste to the other options Make sure that you call, select the right text, otherwise uh, the other objects may drag it along with the text. So you can see I'm almost ready with the design now, sorry with the design and the text. now select each object and group it one by one 
make sure that you don't select some any other objects of that particular options only you select it this will help me to make animation the grouping objects and then send this to back once again so it's now time to do the animation go to animation tab enable the animation pane and I'm going to use the wipe wipe save from top then using the animation painter I'm just going to copy the animation to the other options So let's see how it looks now. Slideshow, when I click, it will show you the first option, then second, third, fourth, and the fifth. You can add the GIF files also if you want. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.